Welcome to the final area of Ease Origins, known as the Demonic Court. I said this is the final area, not the final episode. But we are far, far, far from the final episode. So, suddenly a voice could be heard echoing forth from the Lila Shell. Unicorn? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, don't worry. I just want to let you know that the Knights have all arrived back at base safe and sound. That's good, I'm glad to hear it. Karina's also reported in from at Raiders Annex. Still going to take some time to dispel the barrier around Lady Fina, apparently. Is there anything I can do to help them? Well, about that, Commander Gallium wanted me to pass the message along to you. He said you should proceed to the Tower Summit on your own for now. All the way to the top? On my own? Yes, he seems very confident in your abilities. But he also wants to make sure that you take care not to act rashly. You're bound to run into some serious danger up there. Well, okay, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Unica. Best of luck to you. Well, who wants to live forever? Hmm? Well, let's see if we go. So. About what we're about to do in this negative woods. What we plan to do is take out the final bosses of the game. And in so doing that. We need to be extra, extra careful because to deal, because to deal with these enemies, we're going to be at least, dare I say, over level forty. Look at this SP drop, my god! Oh, and the thing about the thing about these um, enemies here, they spare no expense in wanting to kill you. They'll even go as far as use stat drops. So definitely be careful in this Necker Woods. You can also gain some good levels here. So I recommend if you're gonna be here for a while grinding, put at least two hours in just to boost a few levels, you know. I better get some speed on so I can. Do that! Hello. 
There is a room here. Although I think um, I got the last of the the ruse. How? Let me see. I think I got the last of the um, root power up. Because the last room gives you uh, an, an extra dose of boost. So, I believe for the most part, I'm going to be using my own. Um, my Thunder Axe. And we get rid of this seal right here. Actually, we activate a seal right there, and... I want to make sure I can actually check for something. But you do get an, an achievement for delivering six rues, six rues the road of fruit, and that achievement is called "Thank you for being a friend." So what I'm doing is, of course, grinding for some SP. So yeah, progress is being made. Slowly but surely, but progress is being made. There goes the room, which will give you the last power, which is the boost. And there goes my love.
So I'm technically just doing some last minute grinding and at the same time, don't fall in that hole. Not yet, anyway. I really want to find that rotor fruit before I do anything else. Plus, there's something we need to get while we're here. these guys first. And we get rid of that. get an item that we're going to need to get further into this area. Actually, do anything else? Let me just make sure that. Where am I? Where where I am going will actually take me to where I need to be. Time that I'm looking this up, I'm just I'm just seeing where am I going from here. There we go. See that right there will lead me to the to the last room. If 
but I need to find the rotor fruit first. Plus, you know, it's good to be a, a little over level and not be equally level. So that's pretty much another reason why I'm doing a bit of backtrack here. The first time I actually got up to this area, when I actually played this game, I think I was around the same level as I am now. And I believe I had just about every piece of equipment. So the only equipment that I did, the only equipment that I didn't have here, and I didn't level, is um, during this run, I don't have um, the spirit cape. Let's see, what can I afford? Well, if you hadn't done so, the smart thing you should do is, at this point in time, increase the effect of herbs, reduce your bet status duration, and... Pretty much everything you need to do right now is like is reduce your MP usage. Well, let's go with that. And of course, as you can see, since you're near max. Since you're nearing max for these three, increase boost, the hasten skill, the hasten skill, recovery, and reduce MP usage. They're going to go up until you actually get level three. Any increased movement speed, I don't really, I don't really think I'm needed, so. And, um,
I'm going to backtrack a bit. Took down Pictomus. I'm so glad I passed this area. Like I said, I want to at least grind a little bit before I actually proceed onwards in the demonic core. I think I'm just going to press on if, and I'm going to find that road of fruit off camera. Those two, those two levels, I do not want to lose. So yeah, it helps if you have your MP at um, max speed. Or by possibly having it at the most you can push it. That's my advice.
But at least let's go get the equipment before we do anything else. I do love that drop rate. Just imagine when I just imagine what will happen when I start doing Claw and um Hugo. And these slimes like to replicate. I wish there were more Eve games, or rather, the games that are already out, to get a new, fresh, fresh um, relook. You know. Something like what what they did to E3. When they made Ophel Ghana, I like that, but the problem with Ophel Ghana was it wasn't as hard as the original. I'm not saying I don't like, you know, things that are stupidly, stupidly difficult, but... See, look how fast, see, look how fast my MP regens. And that room wants me to come to him.
Oh, nice drop. Honestly, guys. You guys must have a death wish if you want to mess with me like that. Drop rate. Oh, and you guys again? I'm not that confused. And that'll go right there. So we're going to save here at That's right. Demonic Core number two. And what I'll do off camera is find the rota, rota seed, the rota fruits. Go back to where that rue was. And then of course, continue on from there. When E's origins continue right after this.